So welcome to Pontefract Castle. Not quite sure what to expect here. As with all these places I researched them so many months before I get here I can't remember much about it. I don't know if I'm missing something but I keep seeing licorice. Licorice farmers. What's the significance? Finally to the entrance proper. So the visitor centre was originally barn and um, the King's Stables area. But from 1720 licorice was grown on the castle grounds. The plant's roots were used to make Pontefract cakes. So I need to look out for some licorice. Let's walk into the castle proper. I think I've got some climbing to do. It feels like it's an unusual shape. So I'm on a raised part here. Oops. Some sort of totem pole there. And again, there's another massive open area. Apparently that was the, uh, that's the entrance to the dungeons, which has been cut into the rock underneath. God, listen to this. On a quiet day, around 200 gallons of ale was drunk. That's an awful lot of ale. There's a few panels around, but there's not much saying what's what. Try not to drop my camera. Dig for victory. Castle. It's very well known as the strongest inland garrison in the, U in the kingdom. The walls are very thick and high, with strong towers and if battered, very difficult to access by reason of the depth and steepness of the graft. So in the January 6 1645, Pontefract Castle came under intense attack. Fortunately this sign doesn't say what I'm looking at. I don't know what this is, but it's quite unusual. So you've got a raised, from what level I'm at today anyway, a raised entrance to a circular room. The ceiling, or well, the sign seem to indicate it's almost like it would be an igloo shape. There's a second one here. Similar sort of thing, the walls are beginning to lean in as if they're going to shape a roof. So, one piece of information this is the kitchen area. Now, that was used during the Civil War to uh, melt armour as well, or during a siege anyway, so it's used for lots of things. But feed a thousand men, they needed a big kitchen. So go back towards the, what I'm going to call the raised area with the keep. It's over that way. It's just a good view of the inner, inner the large courtyard for want of a better word. Apparently it's here that Catherine Howard had a passion, began a passionate affair with Sir Thomas Culpepper, which led to both of them, when it was discovered, being executed. And it was in the tower here, which stood obviously somewhere up there. But it's just a view from this section. It's an interesting hill over there. Yeah, I'm not sure that looks significant to me, don't know why. Good place to put cannon on if you're going to start hitting this place, I suppose. There's a horrible old power station over there. Don't know what that is at the moment. Don't even know if it's working.
In case you wonder why the camera work sometimes is a bit dodgy, um, I'm actually carrying the camera that I'm filming with, my DCS, DSLR, and my uh, 4K video camera and tripod. That's why sometimes uh, the filming gets a bit wobbly. Alright, so it's one of the most important castles in England. Never the first 1239 proclaimed, he who holds Prontefract holds the key to the north. It's like a chapel, doesn't it? Again, I keep calling this a chapel because that's what I think it is. And behind was the fateful tower where the uh, kind of Catherine had her affair and promptly lost her head. It's a great story. When Royalist Colonel John Morris discovered parliamentary troops were in town looking for new beds, he ordered his men to disguise themselves as country gentlemen and take their own beds to the castle. They marched the Trojan beds to the castle, tricking the guards into thinking it was their own men returning. Once inside, they withdrew their concealed pistols and took control of the castle. The parliamentary garrison was quickly overcome and imprisoned in the dungeon where their graffiti can still be seen today. Trojan beds, eh? Aerial view from the keep area. So this bit is one level, and then that's another level. That's where the, the great tower was, or the great house was. 